All right. So I'm going to take you over today how the Accurate platform can help your agency. Um, the goal essentially is to automate and expedite the submissions process um, and allow you to, to kind of, like I said, automate everything down to the farthest point, completely and eliminate the need to rekey any information and get through your submissions in as timely of a fashion as possible. So to get into our platform, you can start one of two ways. Uh, you can either start with an accord form or you can start in our platform and it will generate an accord form in the background um, at this point we do not have any backwards compatibility meaning that on the back end there is no cohesive way of you know pressing a button and transferring that information into your agency management system the workaround we have with that right now is if you start in your agency management system whatever it may be um, wherever you're generating accords if you will um, you would start there, input that information, generate those accords, and then print or uplink those to our system. And that is how you would allow all the information to share on the front end. So um, let's say, you know, we got an accord 130 here. Let's say we, say we did this, and let's say your agency management system is AMS 360 um, or Epic or, you know, whoever it may be, Easy Links. You start off there, you would print this to our platform. So you'll see you can go to the print and activate uplink has installed as a print driver. Um, you would actually be able to do this with any document saved to your computer, or you could print directly from your AMS. So um, uplink, um, you also see with the documents, you can right click and scroll down and uplink is down here on this tab. So we'll go ahead and uplink it. And this is just gonna cohesively transfer you to our platform here. So you know, our system is very intuitive. It's gonna notice right off the bat, this is a workers' compensation accord form. So we'll go ahead and continue. And now the first thing we want to do when we get in here, obviously make sure that the line of business is correct, make sure that the you know, dates you want to send it off is correct. We're going to go ahead and just select the lines of business, uh, or sorry, the markets we want to submit this specific risk to. So I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to select four different markets. And these are going to be symbolizing the four different styles of submissions that we have through the Appulate platform here. So this first one is going to be our Appulate style submission, and this is notated here by that green four-leaf clover. Um, I will tell you, this is gonna be the only submission style that's really going to change your processes. Uh, for the other three styles I'm gonna go over, the only difference is that you're gonna be starting off in the Appulate platform. So uh, this is the only one that really is going to change that process. Uh, you get the quote back in a different way than you normally would. So what this is going to be is going to be for markets that were formerly email style submissions. Rather than build their own company portal to submit online, they have partnered with Appulate and um, had us build something that allows them to cohesively submit through the Appulate platform. Now, in this case, you'll also notice a lightning bolt next to the Appulate style submission. Not all Appulate style submissions will have that. But when they do, it's going to notate that it is an instant style quote. So you'll be actually able to go from quote to bind entirely in the platform, but you'll also be able to get that quote instantaneously. Now, you do want to let the letter indicators be your best friend, that and the status bar. In this case, you know, we're getting a red D for decline right off the bat. And the nice thing about this accurate style submission is it's going to have some hand-holding ability, if you will. So this is going to be nice for even your most experienced commercial lines producers, because this is going to eliminate any type of learning curve in our platform and make it very easy to adapt and get used to the platform. And this is also nice for, you know, maybe your most inexperienced commercial lines producers. Um, I'll tell you that uh, I was an insurance agent in Cincinnati, Ohio for seven years before coming to Appulate. And for that first four years, I really just did auto home and life. Um, and, you know, by the, by the time that four year mark hit, I could get through an auto home and life quote in about 10, 15 minutes tops. Um, for that last three years, I kind of transitioned more to a commercial lines capacity. And I remember the first accord form I did. It was extremely intimidating, um, especially if you're just, you know, used to the other side of the business. Um, it, it's a little intimidating when you see those accords. So this is nice for those users as well, because it's going to give you the ability to uh, adapt to it very quickly. You know, you're not going to have to be go to your manager, go to one of the other producers and ask a question about every single question on that accord. Um, our platform is going to answer it for you. So again, that handholding ability is nice for, you know, no matter where you're at, uh, you know, commercial lines wise, this is going to help you adapt to this platform and adapt to help you submitting business as well. So Right away, you're seeing the red D for decline. We'll scroll down and you see the reason it's declining is just simply the FEIN. I do go through this presentation several times daily, so I just gotta give it an FEIN that it likes here. And you'll see we're back on the quote unquote happy path to getting an exception here. So 
Um, you'll see that this does have these smart link questions. Uh, you can go through this, you know, one of two ways. You see the tabs, it does notate how many questions in each tab. Um, so you could go through it manually, um, especially if you obviously didn't upload an accord, you would basically just be answering all these questions. In this case, since we did upload the accord, it does show you know, how many questions and the red asterisk notates where that question is. You can either go through manually or you can go directly to the smart links. I personally like to go to the smart links just because it's going to take you directly to that question that needs to be answered. Um, it makes it a little bit more simplistic to work through that way. So I'll answer these questions. Uh, the nice thing is here, if you answer a, uh, a question that a specific market doesn't like, in this case, is there a medical facility within five miles of the insured? If I hit no, you will see that the letter indicator is going to turn to you for refer to underwriter. And then it's going to tell you exactly which question is doing so when you click on it it will highlight it so again very black and white very clear as to what is snagging up a submission what needs to be answered so you can send off so like i said very simplistic to adapt to this no matter what your experience level is in writing commercial business so once we've answered all these questions we'll answer this last one here you'll see that the last thing that the appulate style submission wants is the loss runs from agora west obviously agora west is the prior carrier um, that information is pulled back either from the accord from you uploaded or that you manually input it into the coverage history section. Based on that information, um, what we have created is this loss runner tool. So uh, this is nice because, you know, the quote unquote standard way of doing things um, is very hectic. As I mentioned in my insurance past life, um, you know, the loss runs was one of the biggest headaches that was created for me there. It seemed that, and this member may even be generous, it seemed that probably 50% of those people that you spoke to and requested loss runs from would actually end up coming back with those loss runs and you'd actually have a, you know, a shot of actually right in that business. And that was very frustrating to, you know, walk business before you even really got a fair shake at it. Um, so what we've done is we've built this loss run tool. And what it has is four different request letters that you can use. The most commonly used for a new customer to your agency is gonna be this letter of authorization. And again, based off of the prior carrier information that was either uploaded from the Accord or that you manually input, in this case, Agora West, our system smart database is going to pull back this highlighted information here. And what this is, is just simply the home office loss runs department. So what you're doing is you know, going directly to home office, you are bypassing or jumping over that first hurdle, if you will, of taking out that verbal communication between the prospective client and their agent of record. That's obviously typically where the largest retention effort is made, and that's typically where you end up losing out on that business. Um, so the nice thing about this is, you know, you're, you're taking out that verbal communication. Um, you're skipping over. It makes it easier for the customer. You know, you don't know. There's a myriad of reasons. Sometimes the customer may not even request it because they feel weird. You know, maybe they're in golf league with the guy, or maybe it's their wife's cousin, or whatever it may be. Um, you know, it, they sometimes are hesitant to even request them. So this makes that process easier on them. It also makes it easier um, in the aspect of if they do feel weird about it, um, the whole process is really being simplified here. So you'll basically enter in the customer's name and email. They will sign using Adobe Signature. And as soon as they sign, the nice part about this is, is rather than come back to your agency inbox and then you have to send it off on their behalf, it's actually going to skip that step, which again, makes it easier on you, the agent. But not only that, that is the, the one little difference maker here. That one little caveat is actually what makes a world of difference where other platforms or other services that do something similar to this loss run tool, um, the reason that they may sometimes fall short is because of that one little difference. You know, even though that they're getting that signed letter from the insured, some markets may still come back and say, well, no, we, we need this to actually come directly from the customer, not just on their behalf. So again, not only does, you know, skipping that little step make it a little bit easier on you, the agent, it actually makes it more widely compliant. So we've had phenomenal results with this, um, you know, and then you'll be copied back on that return email. So not only are you actually giving yourself a better chance of obtaining these loss runs, you're actually going to get it back in a more expedited fashion. Because even if that agent of record does end up sending those loss runs back to you and they weren't able to retain that customer, you know, they're still going to pay, potentially take their time. It may take a week. It may take two weeks. Whereas when you go directly to the home office loss runs department and you do satisfy that compliance right off the bat, they're just gonna turn that right back out to you. So it's going to expedite that as well. So there's a couple of really nice features in there. Um, and you know, this is one of my favorite tools in the platform. Certainly would have saved me a lot of gray hairs that I should not have in my late twenties, um, solely from you know having to deal with that for seven years of my life. So 
once we've sent that off and we've gotten them back, we will go ahead and we will upload the lost runs here. Once we've uploaded those, you'll see that the athlete style submission is going to go green A for accepted. <clears throat> so at this point, you know, you're able to send this off. Um, you do no notice the estimated premium or comparative rater here. You know, even though we do all lines of commercial and some lines of personal, the only line of business you're going to see this on is going to be on our workers comp uh, line of business. It's based off the carrier public rate filing. And I do tell my customers, you know, don't pay this too much attention, don't give it too much confidence, especially when you see not submitted, not quoted. Take it one mouse click farther and hit submit. <clears throat> and at this point, it's going to give you back the actual 100% bindable accurate quote here. Now, um, you know, like I said, in this case, it does come back the exact same, but in a real, real world application, that may not always be the case. So, you know, always just take it that extra mouse click farther to get that hammered in quote. So in this case, you know, it, it is back. You will have the ability to bind this up instantaneously right here, bringing it as an instant style quote, and there are no underwriting snag ups um, if you were appointed with this market. But in this case, you are not appointed. This is one of our open markets. Um, we have a handful of markets in this category that allow you to get back accurate quotes through them without being appointed, essentially just to feel out if they're going to fit into your agency's appetite. Appulate doesn't have anything to do with this actual appointment process. Again, we're just giving you that quick and condensed way on the front end of trying them out and seeing if it's going to be something that may be uh, beneficial for your agency to look into. If you wanna start that appointment process, whether it be for you know just general business that they're coming back competitive uh, frequently, or just for a specific risk that you have to place, you can start the appointment process by hitting request to bind. It'll pull up a button that allows you to start that process, fill out the application, and then give you the contact information of who you can reach out to with that specific market. Now, this next style of submission we have here is, you know, another markets, also markets that have partnered up with us, but they want things done in their specific company portal. So I'll go ahead and hit submit, and then complete submission here. And this is just going to get, bring, bridge you over to the company portal that you're used to working with through this market. So like I said, you know, the only difference on these next three styles is that you're starting in the Appulate uh, portal. Other than that, you know, you're still quoting and binding in the platforms you're used to working in. The difference is, is our platform is going to be doing the lag work for you. So, you know, rather than spending 25, 30 minutes in this platform as you normally would rekeying all this information, you're going to be spending about five minutes just answering those few residual market specific questions. This will fill out anywhere from 90 to 95% of that application for you. So you're only going to have a few remaining questions. You'll go ahead, get the quote back in this platform as you normally would, and then you'll bring it back to ours for the reporting functionality. <clears throat> now, Sarah, who does our agency onboarding, does a little bit of a deeper dive into these reporting features. Uh, they're very fantastic as far as, you know, the, the bulk of information they can give you. It's going to allow you to track, you know, which uh, producers are submitting what to which markets, how much new versus renewal business. If you have multiple locations, you can break it down by location. Um, you can see what the bound premiums were. Kind of everything in between in that submissions process is included in here. Um, but again, you know, anything done outside the system, we do recommend notating it back just so you have accurate reports, especially for, you know, uh, features such as our uh, renewal quotes. Um, the Appulate platform makes renewals an absolute breeze. You know, these profiles do live in the Appulate platform in perpetuity. So when you want to come into a renewal, it's as simple as either creating an automatic renewal at a date of your choosing or a manual renewal. And all you have to do is come in here. Um, you know, change the date, obviously, change any pertinent information. And then if you want to submit to all the same markets, you would just simply resubmit. Obviously, though, it does help to be able to see, you know, where that business was placed the year prior and what the premium was. So, like I said, we do recommend notating anything done outside the platform back into the platform just for ease of access. Now, this next style is our web link. Uh, very similar end functionality to the e-submission being that you know, it's going to still pull over all that information. The uh, web link is actually going to pull over anywhere from 90 to 100 percent of the application at their uh, when they're actually fully built up. Um, this is going to be a lot of your standard markets. So, you know, Liberty Mutual, Hartford, Guard, Amtrust, Nationwide, Travelers, uh, CNA, Chubb, just to name a few, are all going to fall under this web link style. We'll go ahead and hit submit. And you'll see that it's going to bridge you over to that portal again that you're used to working with. 
Again, the difference here is a browser or bot plugin running off of JavaScript. So it does look a little bit different. You know, the e-submission obviously loaded up right away with all the information uh, pre-filled, whereas this one is just going to kind of, you know, take a little bit of time. Um, not too long, but again, just got to be a little patient with it. Allow it to kind of pre-fill, almost like some video, it looks like a video playing before your eyes. You'll just go through page by page, allow it to do its thing. Again, answer any market specific questions, get the quote back in this platform as you normally would, and then again, bring it back to our platform here for those reporting functionality. So once we've uploaded all these quotes, you know, it, you do have the ability to obviously enter in the estimated premium, just kind of have all this information here and you can obviously mark as bound. Um, and again, that all goes back to the reporting features. Now, finally, the last style of submission we have here for any markets that have not partnered with us at the first three capacities or any markets that you submit to um, via email, uh, not just markets, but you know, MGAs, wholesalers, brokerages, whoever you're submitting to via email can actually be added to our platform very simplistically along with their Accords and Supplementals. So I'll go ahead and hit Submit here. You'll see it's gonna automatically include the Accords or Supplementals it believes need to go off. You can obviously omit or add any other documents that need to go here, such as other supplementals or loss runs, whatever else needs to be added, you can add. You can actually still send this directly to the underwriter that you are used to working with through this market. And on the Appulate Premium subscription, you actually have the ability to configure this to come directly from your personal work email and not just on your behalf from the Appulate platform. Now, one of the biggest features here is our scheduling submission tool. So you do have the ability to schedule a submission down to an exact date and time. This is one of the biggest features in the email style submission because it's going to allow you to schedule that future effective business that's you know, more than 90 or 120 days out for the first day it's eligible to submit at 12.01 a.m. And what that's going to do is obviously just quickly and conveniently block that market off so you don't have to worry about someone else swooping in and taking that business that you've worked so hard to earn. Now, we also have a reverse portal. What this does is allows you to send up to the entire application back to the customer to complete. Obviously, for a non-insurance professional, this can be a cumbersome task. The way many of our agencies use this is to basically send, you know, just a few one-off questions. Uh, maybe that customer works third shift. Maybe it's just tough to get a hold of them on the phone for whatever reason. Um, if it's easier to communicate with them in email and they are more responsive this way, you can break down these by, you know, markets, sections of the questionnaire, and question types, unanswered only or required unanswered only. And essentially what it'll do is the view that the customer will have would just be this view right here with the tabs. So nothing on the left side, none of the markets, nothing up top, just simply the questions that you broke down and selected. They would be able to go through this. Um, they would, you know, get sent over to them via email. They would click the link. It would bring them to the, you know, the questions that you had selected. They would answer them and hit submit, and that would cohesively transfer that information back to your specific profile. In that same breath with our forms filler, you can send any of the accords or supplementals back to the customer to complete. You can also use Adobe Signature for yourself or the customer to sign anything that needs to be signed on any of the documents generated in our platform. And then finally, one of my other, you know, really big features that uh, is something that I think is a huge time saver. If you select all and go to edit, it's gonna condense all the accord and supplemental questions down to a nice clean questionnaire. You see anything that's already been entered on the application at any point will obviously auto populate here as these questions duplicate. Um, and then in the same breath, as you work through this, any questions that duplicate across the board will auto populate. So eliminating the need to rekey any information across the board on accord supplementals or anywhere on the application for that matter. If you do have anybody in your agency that is, you know, used to doing things the, the standard way or used to working through the actual documents themselves out of habit, you can go to inline view at the top and break it down by, you know, specific supplementals and accords, allowing them to still work through that view that they're comfortable with. And again, much like anything else in our platform, as you answer these questions here, they will auto populate across the board. So again, you know, the goal of our platform is really just to condense everything down to the farthest point, allow you to get to these submissions in a more timely fashion, um, and you know, <clears throat> really eliminate keystrokes and just allow you to get to these submissions in a more expedited rate. What we've found is that agencies that are using this platform to its full capabilities, if you will, are actually saving roughly an hour per submission. So that's kind of the bulk of it. And at this point, if you have any questions, um, I'd be more, more than happy to field those now.